Hello everyone, welcome to Big Starred Guidance. Welcome all of you that are new and all of you returning to this channel today. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already and also if any of you are interested in booking a personal tarot reading with me, all the information can be found in the description box below this video and also in the pinned comment below. If you want additional content, you can also check out the Patreon community, the link is also down below. So today we're looking Looking into what are your person's thoughts of you today, what's going on in their mind currently. And we are going to be using the Wild Unknown Alchemy Oracle for this reading today. So we have already three cards that you can pick from. Card number one here, this one is called the Earth's Heart. Okay. Then group number two here is going to be the vinegar card. Interesting one. And group number three here is going to be the dissolution energy. Okay, the alchemy of dissolution here for group number three. So these are the three groups. As always, you know, the gist, the timestamps are down below in the pinned comment. If you know you want to pick for more than one person, go ahead. If you want to pick more than one group for one person, do it as well. So always follow your own intuition. Your intuition is always right no matter what you do. So just follow yourself, don't doubt too much. Just go with the flow, go with the card that is calling to you the very most or go with multiple cards that are calling to you. So the links are down below. I'll see all of you in your chosen groups. If you feel like you need a bit more time, now is the perfect time to just pause the video, reflect, maybe drink a bit of water, or take a few deep breaths, close your eyes, connect to your person, and then feel towards which card is calling to the very most. And I'll see all of you, my beautiful darlings, in your chosen groups. Hello, group number one. If you have picked the Earth's Heart, card this is going to be a reading for what are your person's thoughts of you today so uh, first of all the earth's heart means going deep down um this person feels like deep down they have a great deal of love for you we have this rose sort of blooming in the darkness it feels like this is this is almost like the layering of their energetic field when they are outside this being their external world and this being the internal world so here it feels like they definitely feel a great deal of love to you right now they consider you to be very gentle very sweet very loving this person loves the way that you smell or the way that you come across they feel like they definitely feel very passionate to, very passionate towards you right now great deal of passion here also we have sort of like a pulsating energy um, so I do feel there is a special feeling this person gets when they are around you. It feels like it's a bit, um, a bit intense, the connection. The connection feels like it's, it's sort of, sort of pulsating a little bit. Um, definitely, you know, moves this person around a bit, definitely shakes them up a bit. So yeah, here it feels like you do shake up this person. You, you make their pulse um stronger more move more quicker um what else it feels like there is a certain depthness that this person feels towards you that they haven't revealed yet just because the rose here is in the dark it feels like they haven't fully revealed their love for you um they are today thinking about that they're thinking about this connection is what i'm getting here uh, they're ruminating over it um anything else like it feels like there is something about your connection that has a specific meaning for this person and I feel like that's why they're also so called to it so called to just think about it because they can't fully figure it out so it's not like it's on the nose it feels like it's something deeper it feels like it's 
it's really down there, you know, in, in the deep, dark cave um, that's running with water. It just feels like it's very watery. It feels like this person has very deep emotions. Also emotions connected to disconnection that are not so well known to themselves even. And they feel like this connection is very, very deep. It sort of runs to their core. Um, they feel like they've known you for quite a while here. There's just this feeling here of really, of a really strong connection or really strong sort of understanding of one another. Um, another thing's coming through is that this connection is showing this person like a lot of gifts, a lot of different gifts that are being brought to them or that are just basically being given to them here. Um, I do feel like they want to reconnect right now. So they're thinking about reconnecting with you. They're thinking about contacting you again. Um, they're, they're just really thinking about you. You are definitely strongly on this person's mind today. Okay. So let's see what else wants to come out. So we're just going to use the tarot to see what comes through. Okay, so spirit, group number one, what are their person's thoughts of them today? Okay, so this person wants to collaborate with you. We have the original Rider Way tarot deck here. Um, so they want to collaborate with you here, but also they don't want the cycle to repeat itself. It feels like you guys are in a certain cycle, in a repetitive cycle with one another in in your connection and how you respond to one another. It, it feels like the pattern is repeating itself, or at least that's how this person is perceiving it. And they don't want that anymore. They don't want that to happen anymore. They just want to move around it. This person still is interested in, you know, getting closer to you, getting to know you better, doing things together, collaborating, whatever. They're interested in working with you or collaborating with you in any way, yet they don't want the cycle between the two of you to repeat itself. So there is something very basic, very strong about that, that this person really doesn't want to move towards. So let's see now what else we get here. Yeah, wanting to have the inner strength to contact you, but to not have the cycle repeat itself. So this person really wants to come through with fortitude right now towards you. And what they're thinking about you is how are you going to respond to them, you know? And how would they respond to you? Because it feels like they don't have enough trust in themselves or enough of an understanding here about themselves to not repeat the cycle again. You know, that's, that's, I feel like their major fear, like repeating the cycle again and having it all be for nothing. Um, cause this person, they definitely do think about you often. They want to reconnect yet. I do feel like here they are trying to understand what creates this repetitive cycle. So they don't go down the same road again, but it feels like it's creating quite a pickle for this person because they can't really figure it out so easily. So we have the nine of pentacles here. They think of you very fondly right now. They feel like you are doing well. Uh, they de definitely think of you as someone who is well off financially, doing well in their life, just enjoying their life overall right now. And they, they're doing the same, you know, they're also doing well, but they also do think of you quite often. You know, they think of, I'm hearing the one that got away here. So yeah, definitely you are on their mind a lot. They miss you a great deal. Um, yeah, there, there's just a wish here to reconnect, but at the same time, not knowing how. So we have the, the two of swords reversed. With the two of swords reversed, what is coming out here is this person is finding clarity. So right now they might still feel a little bit stuck or not knowing how to continue, might feel a bit confused about their role right now and how they should move forward. But yeah, they, they're trying to find clarity here with the two of swords reversed. They are making steps or making progress towards figuring this out. 
So let's see now what else. We have the King of Cups. Yeah, like Spirit is just confirming this. Like this person has strong love for you in their heart. They feel quite stable emotions towards you. This person is emotionally mature towards you. They also do think of you as emotionally mature and think of you as a very, very lovely person. Um, and they want to have a balance between the mind and the heart in this connection. So they want this connection to be balanced, to be harmonious. I feel like that's the thing that might be holding them back, you know, because it, it ends up not being as harmonious as they would have wanted it to be with this repetitiveness. We have the Ten of Cups coming through reverse. So like this person feels like they recognize the beautiful opportunity to have something with you here, yet it, it feels like it's not happening or it hasn't happened yet. Like they just feel like you guys could create a very beautiful life together, but there's just something here that is not aligning between the two of you. And the trouble here is this person doesn't know what is not aligning between the two of you. You know, they do want to step forward. They are coming through in a quite empowered fashion with the King of Wands here on the bottom of the deck. They definitely feel very much in their own power. They feel in that masculine energy wanting to step up towards you. Um, yet it's just, it's also about making wise decisions is what I'm hearing here. So this person is not someone who's going to make an impulsive decision to move towards you, they are going to attempt to be wise, to act from the mind and the heart and that sort of harmony between the two. So even though they might want to step towards you, they are not doing it because they don't want to create trouble or they don't want to go through the same motions again. It's just like overall, there is this lack of trust when it comes to you when it comes to your connection when it comes to themselves um yeah they just don't fully trust themselves to be able to move through this so let's see move through this i should say without clarity about what it is and what's causing this so let's see what else so we're just going to go through the love oracle cards to see what wants to come out so spirit please for group number one I feel like this person overall finds a lot of joy and fulfillment with you and they are thinking back on why couldn't you make it work before you know what was wrong what stood in the way let's see what's going on with them now group number one here so we have the dragonfly be light-hearted finding out um things coming to light here adapt change and heal Okay, so they definitely want things to be clearer between the two. They want to have better understanding about what's going on with you here, what's happening between the two of you. Um, we have karmic relationship. Yes, this definitely speaks karmic relationship to me. Love call. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. So with the dragon, um, being lighthearted, finding out. They want... To have clarity between the two of you they are thinking possibly of contacting you today to to just contact you to tell you what's going on but again they're afraid of repeating the same cycle um we have the snake here so we have competition enemy clever malicious look over your shoulder the other woman it definitely feels like there is someone else involved here so there is a competitive person maybe maybe you are flirting with someone else and this person is a little bit jealous or just you know there is someone else a third party in the way here that's creating some rumbles this person is quite jealous of the people who spend time with you um because they want to spend time with you you know so they envy that but at the same time they're trying to really level themselves because we also have strength here we have this this stability that this person is trying to cultivate within themselves here Okay, we have paradise, 
happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Yeah, like this is this connection at its highest. This is this connection at its brightest. You guys really enjoying each other's company, having fun with one another. You know, you, you just bring a lot of fulfillment, happiness, expansion into each other's lives here. But again, there, there's this like let's say black spot on the connection with the karmic relationship and i'm definitely feeling this into the energy as well like for some of you this could even be a karmic you know not for all of you but for some of you because it's definitely here you know we have fleeting triggers turmoil resentment lessons letting go and loving you yeah like like it's possible that for some of you the lesson in this connection is just to let go and love them as they are recognizing that you know this cycle this relationship is not for you because of the cycle keeps repeating itself and there are a lot of triggers i'm definitely getting a lot of triggers because this cycle it's repeating itself because of those triggers you guys you know so you trigger one another and it just it just sort of spirals out of control then I feel like you could work on those triggers though, you know, and you could heal that and then this relationship would definitely shift. But yeah, I feel like this person is definitely thinking of what went wrong and how they were triggered by you. And they're trying to love you in this state that you guys are in, in this sort of in-between state, definitely. And this person definitely has love for you, a great deal of love for you. Yet they still want more. They still want something else. And we have love call here. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So they are definitely thinking about contacting you today. They're thinking about letting you know that they care about you, that you're on their mind. You know that they are definitely really ruminating over you here. Um, they def just want to sort of message you, hit you up on an email. Um, call you or just send you a DM. Yeah, but again, they're asking themselves like, should I, should I do that? Should I, you know, it's, it's about having that strength again in both ways, you know, by contacting you and also not contacting you. This person is expressing strength. So let's see. Yeah, they want to see you again, I feel like. Here with Love Call, they definitely want to see you again. They miss you. They miss your energy. They miss the uplifting energy between the two of you. We have I'm in denial. So it's possible this person is in denial over something here. You have my heart. Okay. Let's see what else comes out. You are so attractive. So they definitely find you very desirable very attractive very fun to be around very lovely they just love to rest their eyes on you here so we have kiss me okay so what else spirit Ooh. okay we have i want to hang out more yeah obviously yes this person wants to hang out more they want to hang out a lot anything else please spirit here you are the love of my life so yeah like this person feels for you they have deep feelings for you here there is love here we need to give each other some space and then then there is this as well you know because th this just makes sense to them we have slow and steady so they are also thinking about just being slow and steady moving forward slowly and steadily so they don't make the same mistakes again you know they don't wanna they don't wanna repeat the thing it's just so it's it's repetitive in itself no not wanting to repeat not wanting to repeat not wanting to repeat that is coming through such in such a strong repetitive motion here i hope we get to spend more time together yeah this is basically what this person wants to tell you hoping that you guys get to spend more time together and we have are you into me too so do you also feel the same do you also feel something for me here they are really wondering where you're at like have you forgotten about them are you still interested uh where are you at i'm ready for commitment they want something more yes definitely here definitely wanting something 
more my love so let's see what else we can get for you i just want to get you some clarity some guidance here something something a bit more um strong a bit stronger guidance is what i'm called to so let's see oh gosh really really struggling to decide what i want which cards i want so let's see just the gyre wrath okay giraffe spirit see the big picture is on the bottom of the deck i usually wouldn't even think of it but randomly i just said it out loud when i looked at it so i was like okay damn this is awkward now i have to tell you about it so let's see this spirit animal what do they have for you look at the bigger picture okay okay so we have peacock spirit let it shine bring yourself forward, shine, just you're ready for a bit of a glow up, group number one here, and we have pick spirit, use your mind wisely, so definitely spirit is asking you for a glow up, so take care, taking care of yourself, appreciating yourself greatly, and pick spirit, use your mind wisely here, so take care of yourself, take care of how you're approaching things, Take care that you are mindful in how you are approaching this person as well and how you're approaching your own behavior or how you are behaving towards this person if you do interact and also if you don't, be aware of the thoughts that you're having of them. So let's see just what else wants to come out here. So we have two cards, three cards, okay? This could be the one, Spirit is saying, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So this person is definitely one of the soulmates or one of the people who would definitely be a wonderful companion in your life. We have let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Okay, so group number one. Ask your friends for guidance, for support. Ask them what they think. You're going to be able to think of things differently and to just have a clearer mind if you share this with others. And we have separation here. Okay, so time apart from your partners on the horizon. So spirit is basically just spelling out the energy. There definitely feels like there is um, separation here right now. So yeah, you deserve love. You are lovable, my love. You are lovable here. So thank you so much for tapping in this tarot reading with me. Thank you so much for sharing your beautiful energy with me, my loves. Don't forget to comment down below. Let me know how this was for you. And also like, subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet for more videos coming your way. If you want to get more content and also connect to more 18 plus content from me, you can also check out the Patreon. The Patreon link is down below. Thank you everyone for your donations. And of course, thank you for your support on this channel. And if any of you are also interested in booking a personal tarot reading with me, all the information about that can be found down below in the pinned comment and the description box my website and my email is over there so you can contact me whenever you are ready sending you so much love so much light and looking forward to connecting with you soon in the next video bye hello group number one two wow one is coming out interesting so vinegar energy group number two if you were called group number one go listen to that one as well since i already called you group number one here so with vinegar okay my lovelies with vinegar what is coming through here is this person is really thinking about the memories that they have shared with you especially focusing on uh, some of the more sour notes or the sour components of those memories. So most of all, they're thinking about things that went wrong. Also, they're thinking about things today that went good for the two of you, but mostly it just feels like they are hyper-focusing here on what went wrong between the two of you, right? This person does feel a little bit 
overwhelmed by your connection right now or just like there has been a lot going on in this connection they feel like they just need a bit of a palette cleanser you know the vinegar energy is quite a heavy energy quite a lot you know can be very very overwhelming very very fast so this person feels like it's it's just a lot is happening right now a lot has happened between the two of you right now they are just thinking about all the things that have happened between the two of you also thinking about just more sour components like the things that went wrong or how they didn't act as they would have wanted or how maybe you didn't act how they expected you to so everything between the two of you is just giving them a bit of a sour note right now um so it's all permeating the reading basically with you picking this one um it is also likely something from the past is showing up in the present for your person and demanding their attention specifically in regards to the two of you specifically in regards to your connection you know it's in vinegar's nature to take over to overwhelm so it does feel like your person here is definitely very overwhelmed by what is currently going on it is possibly triggering for them a little bit as well as it's reminding them of something from the past they feel like they're basically staring at this energy right now and they can't easily ignore you right now so today i feel like you're deeply on this person's mind they can't ignore you they're sad if things didn't go precisely the way that they should have they are more focusing on the negative today than the positive okay and but also it's really allowing them to see more clearly what they don't want and how they might want to change their behaviors in the future here so it's really allowing them to pinpoint because the experience feels like it's very intense it's allowing them to really pinpoint what is causing them pain or what is causing them grief or just not feeling good about the situation altogether okay so let's see now what else wants to come through with the tarot Okay, so spirit for group number two, what are their thoughts of them today? What are their thoughts today, please? Okay, so daydreaming, basically thinking about many different ways on how they could have treated you differently, how they could have acted differently. This person feels like they are just super dreamy about you today, daydreaming about all this, all the opportunities, all the things that could have could have been done differently, have been created differently. Between the two of you, all the paths that they could have followed. So yeah, very, very much an emotional energy, very much, you know, someone who is just in their own fantasy world right now. Okay, yeah, this person wants to move towards you today. I do feel like you're very strongly on their mind here and they feel like they wanna be impulsive and they just want to reach out to you. And just because they feel like they miss you here, they feel like there's a sour note in the relationship right now and they feel like they want to fix it. And they feel like they just, even though they don't have clarity is what Spirit is saying, they feel like they want to reach out to you. They find you very sexy. So the thoughts of you today are, let's do something differently. I find you very sexy, very alluring. I want something else with you. Let's just try things differently than we used to you know, let, then we did so far. Let's just do things differently. Let's trust ourselves. Let put, let's put these conflicts or these troubles, these um, things that we disagree over under the table, just sweep it under the rug somewhere and, you know, don't deal with it today. Let's not deal with it today. Yeah, this person just wants to, they just want to reconcile, reconnect with you here it just feels like there was some conflict here might not have been a huge conflict but definitely there was something here something quite sour something that might have caused even a quite literal falling out here of the relationship between the two of you we have the tower coming through it which just feels like there was some type of an upheaval that happened between the two of you your person feels like they're really deeply thinking about that today 
yeah, just having these troubling thoughts about this connection, about where it's going, about what's happening next, you know. And just really focusing on the negative, but at the same time trying to pull themselves out of the difficult situation by being there, by being like, okay, let's do just, just do something. Just do something, you know, just create a different opportunity here judgment okay wow cool with judgment coming through here this person is showing initiative to transform to shift the way that they have acted thus far they feel like they're really reflecting on their own behavior on how they treated you on what they did wrong i feel like this person might even come out to tell you that they are sorry and now they might apologize to you or just explain their own behavior to you here. Yes, they're starting to see things from a different perspective is what Spirit is saying. They feel like they are suspending themselves a bit and just stepping away from their ego, allowing them to see things more clearly. I'm hearing I'm not pleased with, pleased with myself. So this person definitely is not pleased with how they have treated you. I feel like that's overall what is causing this very vinegary taste in their own mouth. Just watch what a fool and what an idiot they have been here um, for not treating you better. Yeah. They feel like they, they just want to work through that, be more active, really now step up, stand their ground. They might be a bit defensive still, but they really want to stand their ground to be more present with you and just tell you where they are standing, maybe tell you that they didn't mean it like that and explain themselves better. The problem here that I'm seeing is that we don't have a lot of sword energy, so there's very limited air energy in this group. We have fire, we have, you know, the swords that are indicating conflicts, but um, not much else. We have more wand energy, so more of that energy of transformation, just doing things quickly without really considering it too much. So yeah, like this person is getting into some heavy knowledge about themselves. They, they definitely feel things, understand things differently now. They feel like they have gotten a new look on how they have handled a situation and they're not happy with how they have come across here. They're also, I feel like, quite sad if they have hurt you in some way. You know, they definitely didn't want to cause you pain. So let's see now what else wants to come out with the Love Oracle cards. So we have Soulmate, cool, and we have a mask. Okay, so this is possibly part of the issue here. That this person is a soulmate that you both feel a strong bond with each other but this person has been wearing a mask and they have not been coming through authentically you know they might have denied those feelings or might might have just not shown those true feelings with the mask what do we have we have not showing true feelings hide personify pretend delude and gaslight yes so definitely, I feel like your person might have done these things, all of these things to you, or, you know, maybe at least one of them, you know, they not, have not been showing their true feelings, definitely. For some of you, they have de been delu deluding themselves and also you a bit. They might have gaslighted you as well as a part of this connection. But we have soulmates here as well. They feel this is a soulmate connection though. So soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract. You definitely have a certain contract, a soul contract with this person, group number two. And they feel like they know it. They feel this strong bond with you here. And I feel like definitely that's why it hurts them so much more because they are not showing their true colors here. So let's see what else we get. We have heartbroken, we have the butterfly. So heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. Yeah, I feel like this is just deeply on point in how this person is feeling right now. Definitely very sad about where this is right now and how things have gone between the two of you. So the butterfly, relationship evolving, evolution, um to the nest nest phase healing the inner child and growth interesting so yeah like this person feels like they're definitely evolving here 
they're trying to they're trying their best to grow they're trying their best to look at the situation differently especially like for the hanged man here they're really trying their best to come through in a better way for you we have wedding rings here on the bottom though so like it just feels like it, like this person knows that you are the one for them yet they are keeping themselves from this love and that is causing so much sourness for them we have wedding rings on the bottom so that means union wedding married this person might be married for some of you by the way or there's a third party soul connection eternal love everlasting promise you know it just feels like, like for some of you this person might be in another relationship might even be married might be married to their job or something like that might be married to their purpose and that's why they feel like they can't really step forward yet and i feel like for most of you it's just going to mean that they want to marry you yet they're not stepping up for whatever reason they have to feel like they're wearing this mask you know they're not stepping up for you we have kisses now on the bottom of the deck as well unconditionally loving giving and receiving affection and falling in love like this person has fallen in love with you so very deeply and they're not allowing themselves to like express it to live it it just I mean, everyone would feel sour and bad about that. So let's see now what else. You are so good to me. And we have, how do you feel? This, this one feels like, how do you feel? Like, how can I make it better? You know, I feel like this person is wondering, how you, do you feel like how they can fix the situation? So let's see now what else, what else for it for group number two. We have here Dark Knight. Okay, it's possible the Dark Knight of the soul is involved in this. Um, maybe your person just went through difficulty in their personal life as well. And you got, you also, you know, got a splash of that in this connection. So I need to do some more self-reflection. That's definitely present here, yes. And we also have, you're missing from my life, yeah. Like, what even is my life without you? That's definitely here. Um, I know we are soulmates on the bottom here. Again, another soulmate confirmation. So they know you're soulmates, but it's like, not coming together like why aren't you guys coming together my energy is all over so it's obviously like they are not attuned to what they're wanting so they're not going towards what they're wanting so their energy is obviously going to be all over sometimes this connection is a lot and then that smiley face with the tongue out so yeah trying trying to be you know upbeat about the connection but still feeling it very diff very deeply you're so attractive yeah definitely like this person finds you incredibly attractive very sexy alluring very handsome um open book so they want to be more open with you with what is going on in their lives just be more open in general just tell you what's been going on with them i feel like they just they just feel like they've been messing up because they haven't been open enough with you we have, I have had intense dreams about you. And also here we have, I fantasize about you so much. Yeah, that first card we got. Fantasizing, fantasizing. Um, and I'm open and ready. They are attempting to be. Today they feel like they just want to be open and ready to start this. They just want to, they just want to put it in gear. Right now. Yeah, keep dog. So let's just get you some of these cards first. So what do they want to tell you? So what does spirit want to share with you? And then also just for the end, get you some guidance for what you should do. So group number two, please spirit, what's going on here? What's, what's the message here? Express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture okay so quite on the nose spirit is asking you to make that romantic gesture yourself we have attraction okay you attract 
romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So it's basically about enjoying yourself and being in the now. Is That's basically what Spirit is calling you here with this connection to just allow yourself to chill out, to just enjoy this moment right here, right now without overthinking this connection. Um, this person obviously feels very attracted to you. They also are thinking about finally expressing themselves and taking off that mask here, you know, expressing their attraction, expressing their love for you, expressing their desires. So what do we have here? Give your relationship a chance. Yeah. Work on your partnership. They want to give it a chance. They want to see what else can blossom out of this. And one last card. Thank you, Spirit. Very soon. Okay. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Yeah, this person feels like they're coming towards you very, very soon. They definitely feel very much a strong passion towards you here as well. And yeah, they're thinking about just making a step forward. They feel quite impulsive and they are more and more sure that they want you. I feel like that vinegar even though it's a difficult card, it's a sour card, it's helping them a lot to see clearly. You know, pain is sometimes very, very good because it helps us very precisely see where we have to go and what is not good for us and where we don't want to be. So I do feel like overall there is a silver lining here to what this person is going through, especially today. It's making them fall in line more with what they want and they want to work on your partnership here and they want to reach out to you very very soon so just feel like they're going to be deciding that they want to do something that they want to step it up so let's see now what's your guidance here we have the panther spirit Ooh, powerful reclaim your power wow yes and be at home okay there is a wasp spirit on the bottom sometimes life stinks I feel like this is just spirit, you know, validating that, yeah, like sometimes life things, sometimes these types of connections are just very difficult and it's, it's just about getting through them. You know, sometimes life throws us something good and th sometimes life throws us into something bad. It's just difficult. But it's okay. It's time to just accept and move forward. But you are validated through this. You are, you know, valued through this. Spirit loves you as always. Yeah, Spanter, Spirit, reclaim your power. Okay, group number two. So basically the energy here is, it's, it does take courage to face challenges. So right now Panther Spirit is here with you to say that you are braver than you think. Now is the time to take a risk if you feel guided to and step into a different aspect of your being. <clears throat> so speak as you have never spoken before. Act as you have always dreamed you might have the courage to act. Love fearlessly and fully today. So that's your guidance with the panther to just really reclaim your own power to be a new you, to be braver, bolder self. You know, the panther spirit says the time for dreaming about what you want to do is giving way to that first courageous act towards reclaiming your panther spirit and power. So your new identity may feel a little bit strange at first, you know, that stepping forward towards what you want may feel a bit weird at first, but you have what it takes and your soul wants it as well. You know, if you want it, allow yourself to go forth and go get it. Basically, the message here with the panther is be bold and go forth, go get it. Trust yourself, trust your higher self. Okay. And Next guidance here, we have Wombat Spirit, be at home, okay? So basically the Wombat is the animal that's burrowing deep into the ground and remaining safe, sound and well fed with family. And that's basically a special trait of the Wombat. So home sweet home is always available if you recognize that well-being is the truth of life. 
So the Wombat Spirit today, group number two, is reminding you that to be truly at home in the world, you need to find comfort within your own skin. So you do this by basically accepting all your experiences without judgment through a deep honesty and love of life. And when you feel the freedom to be yourself, you can begin to truly feel at home in your life with your family and with your tribe, with your friends, with this person, etc. So right now you're in a beautiful place where you can hang up the coat of your identity and settle into a true sense of home and well-being, understanding that all is well. So do take your rest, maybe even today, take a bit of a rest, but tomorrow go forward and reclaim your own power here. And know that everything you do from this place is going to ring true and in harmony with your higher self and with your spirit. So that's all that I have for you today, my love. Thank you so much for tapping into. Thank you for sharing your beautiful energy with me. Hope this gave you guidance and clarity on your path. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Share this video with someone that you love. If you want to book a personal tarot reading, all the information is down below. There is my email and also my website listed down below if you want to contact me. And also if you want more videos, if you want to check in to some 18 plus videos. The link to the Patreon is down below. We also offer healings on Patreon and much more. So make sure to check that out and I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye. Hello, group number three, welcome. So if you have picked the solution or the solution energy today or alchemical process, today for your reading of what are their thoughts of you here. So I want to tell you, your person is truly surrendering to their own feelings at this time. Truly just letting go of their ego, letting go of judgments, letting go of labels, you know, anything solid, they're letting it go. They are really just rounding up the edges, so to speak, of this connection. They feel like they're fully surrendering to what is going to happen next for the two of you. It feels like they're not judging anymore. They're not expecting anything. They're just really at this time completely letting go of their expectations, their expectations of you, who they think or know you to be, they're letting it go. Who they think and know themselves to be, letting it go, you know. What they wanted or what they are wishing for this connection to be letting it go. They're letting it all go here. And the dissolution is just the energy of unity as well. This to me feels a bit like just reuniting with their soul and truly starting from the ground up, starting from not knowing themselves and through that learning how to get to know themselves better. Basically, you know, it's, it's like this person is just dissolving completely, becoming formless at this time, or your connection feels like that to them here. Okay, so our dissolving of definitions, identities, labels is happening for them, both on an individual and on a level of your relationship at this time. Also, the way that they think of you here goes into that. So basically letting go of the ego as well here, uh, surrendering the ego, you know? So, um, yeah, the ego is ready to be surrendered to something greater than itself. So it feels like this person just sort of put up their hand and was like, okay, I've had enough of this struggle. Let me just completely realign myself and my life and my relationships to what is truly necessary for me and this life? What do I truly need to step into? What energy? What role? You know? So basically, your person here is diving back to the beginning right now. Um, they feel quite humble in regards to all of this that's happening in their lives. It, they also feel like they are disoriented a little bit. So they, they are finding their footing, 
so to speak right now it is possible your person has gone through the dark night of the soul and this is like the final step in that way the self you know having disappeared a little bit and them, them forming a new self so to speak you know um, so they're basically surrendering to the waves of their emotions here and trying to reunite or fall into a more um, more deeper understanding with who they truly are here you know um, this person possibly you know if they feel sadness occasionally they are right now crying they're letting their feels, tears flow right now you know to soak into that healing waters healing is happening for your person that the solution is a strong process of healing as well so that's happening for them um what else here spirit yeah just dissolving allowing themselves to heal to transform and to come in unity with love in in unity with unity so to speak um anything else here just spirit wants me to to um tell you about the movie the shape of water so to go deeper into this energy maybe to just also allow yourself to feel into the energy this person is going through i would recommend you watch that movie the shape of water that is coming through for you guys it feels like a very reflective energy also the sound of pouring rain is present here so just be be present with that you know if if you want to go deeper into this energy and what's coming up for your person and also for you here i don't feel like you're entirely separate from this so you know go deeper into the feeling what does it feel like to listen to the rain to the sound of pouring rain like that healing energy you know cleansing things away letting a new life be born that type of energy it feels like death is present here a little bit like that the death card i don't mean death in general just these strong new beginnings are happening here and yeah like it's just again it's like your person is going through something so naturally that is going to be felt in the connection and how they see you here as well they do think of you as someone who they're very grateful for because you allowed them to step onto this path you know they wouldn't be here if it weren't for you so they're very grateful for you here they want to also let go let leave behind any difficulties or any judgments that you guys might have had before maybe there was conflict here or just you know, maybe there was a certain falling out between the two of you recently or previously, or just, you know, maybe a bit of a disagreement. It doesn't have to be something big, just, you know, maybe wanting different things as well. That can also indicate different things here. So they want something new. They want a new, fresher, more childlike, more excited perspective to be born between the two of you. They definitely think of you as a person who is very strong, who holds their own ground, but at the same time, they see this child inside of you. Then that's the type of energy they want to connect with, to reconnect with, or to bring out in this connection. So I feel like this person's own internal process is definitely allowing them to see you differently and see the parts of you they want to form a deeper connection with, which is just this childlike, more free more passionate side of you that's you know excited about life that is excited about creating things in life as well so let's see what else are their thoughts of you today they're thinking about the disagreements that you might have had in the past but in from a more detached perspective yeah this person wants something new they want a new passionate beginning between the two of you they want you guys to creatively form and start transform this connection into something deeper something something more fruitful something that's going to really get your blood pumping you know something you're both going to be excited and joyful to be a part of so yeah that's basically what they want they want something more they want something more interesting the thoughts of you today are also quite sexual you know with the, with the ace of wands here we do have that sexuality also with the page of wands coming through 
and that's okay you know this person just feels like they miss you they want your touch they want your body to be felt next to theirs they just want to be in that energy of unity with you here and that's all there is to it you know it's just very simple you know, even though I'm possibly speaking quite strong spiritual terms here, in terms of energy, this is very, very simple. Yeah, going through healing, this person might be experiencing certain heartache at this time as well due to the things that possibly transpired between the two of you or else they're just, you know, going through that heartache of healing, heartache of dissolving. Um, now letting the ego to die is often a little bit of a healing process and also it does involve some heartache or just the heart sort of coming through its shell and in that energy a lot of hidden or, or stuck emotions can transform. Um, they're sad that things aren't going perfectly between the two of you. Here is what I'm getting here as well with the three of sorts um there definitely feels like there's a part of this person that just wants things to be smooth sailing between the two of you but they aren't and i feel like that does go cause them sorrow here because they see like this awesome connection that you guys are having and yeah they are sure they want to move to the lighter to the brighter side of things this person is done being in the same relation to you than they were thus far they want to start something new they want to go towards easier waters you know calmer waters they're done playing the same person that they were with you before so this person is obviously strongly shifting um, their own thinking they're slowly moving ahead they are thinking of your connection as something steady something solid here this person is thinking of you in terms of wanting to offer you something as well um they think you're a very solid person as well very practical very stable um very much someone they can rely upon you they feel like you're quite a responsible person and they can rely upon you um they want to get make things right and they want to collaborate with you. They want to work together with you with this original Rider Way tarot deck. They want to work together. They just want to reunite here with you is what I'm getting here. Just bury the hatchet, bury the difficulties, just bury this conflict, whatever it was, you know, just let's move on to happier waters. Here is what I'm getting. Let's reunite. Let's come back together. That's what they are overall wanting. Yeah, and they are very, very hopeful right now. This person has, wow, I just dropped the King of Cups. This person has a lot of love for you. They are ready to be a rebel in terms of just being who they authentically are here with the star. And they're very optimistic and hopeful about what is to come next for your connection. This person has a lot of love for you with the King of Cups, basically. They're ready for, to transform. They're quite reflective of themselves at this time obviously they are definitely sort of transforming their own self here um with the king of cups what's coming through is this harmony between the mind and the heart that is happening for them right now so they are just strongly holding this love for you at this time which is incredibly beautiful sort of holding their little cup you know, maturely, very mature feelings. This person definitely has decided they want to come through towards you in a much more mature way. They also do think of you as someone very, very mature, but they feel like they need to make the first step forward. It just feels like it would be wrong if they didn't here. Okay, so let's see what else wants to come out for you. Here is a spirit for group number three, please. Okay, we have the runner. We saw the runner card. So this person might have been a runner before in this relationship. They might have ghosted. We have healing heart. Yes, definitely very, very on point here. Healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationship or addiction is coming through here. This can also be a past relationship. But for most of you, it's going to be like they're healing the pain that was here before they're letting go of that pain they're dissolving that pain that was here before 
we have ascending, yes, and they're ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Yes, this is basically this reading in a nutshell. This is what this person is going through. These two things, you know, one holding the other's hand, basically. That's what is happening here. Gorgeous. Let's get two more cards. Just to see what else comes through for group number three, please, Spirit. We have the clock. I'm hearing the clock is ticking here. Need time, takes time, in time, cycles, time to heal progress. I feel like, yeah, this person feels like they need some time right now, but also they feel like the time is ticking. They feel like they don't have all the time in the world to just not contact you or to just not be in contact with you. What did we have? Their passion wanted to, she to be seen. We have addiction. It does feel like possibly this person has been struggling with addiction previously. Uh, we have here codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. I feel like, yeah, there might have been an addiction here, maybe an addiction to cigarettes, alcohol, maybe a specific way of feeling as well. Um, and just something that they're attempting to heal right now, something that has been brought to their attention that they're attempting to just work through. And we have Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation or meeting, hesitation. Yeah, this is, this is just, again, this person in a nutshell. They are wanting to connect. They are wanting to see you again very, very strongly. They feel like there is love between the two of you. They were definitely struck by the Cupid's arrow here. And... Yeah, they just want to see you. They want to meet up. They feel like there is a surprise meeting happening between the two of you. And we have hesitation from this person as well. So there is still something that's, you know, holding them back a little bit. That's making them hesitate in this connection in regards to you. Maybe it's a specific situation that you guys are in that is causing hesitation for your person. Maybe it's just healing for others of you, you know, healing this broken heart or wanting to work through that addiction here. So let's see what messages they have for you, group number three. We have cycles. I feel like I'm going in cycles. It's coming through here. So yeah, definitely cyclical nature. Maybe also, you know, the cyclical nature of healing here and also the cyclical nature of addiction. I feel safe with you. So they feel safe with you. Make them feel safe. I'm hopeful for the future, yes, that beautiful Aquarius energy here. We also do have uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces coming through, and also we do have here a Capricorn, Virgo, and um, Taurus. I want to explore us. So this person wants to see where else this can go, what else can happen between the two of you. Uh, I hope we get to spend more time together, yes. So let's see what else. Ooh. You have me spinning, spinning round, 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 baby, round, round. You are the love of my life. So yeah, the eye contact we share leaves me shaking. Again, that shaking energy, there's a lot of shaking here, like spinning, shaking, just, it's, it's like the indication that this person is definitely going through a lot right now. Mm, I have had intense dreams about you is coming through as well. So let's see what else. Just, I forget to shuffle on camera sometimes. Just sort of hold the close, or the, hold the cards so close to my chest. Here I daydream about you all the time. So this person also daydreams about you great deal especially today it feels like you're on their mind a lot i'm reminded of you everywhere i am yeah like today they are really reminded of you everywhere so anything else okay you are so attractive so this one basically came through in all the groups thus far so i love that let's see now what else wants to come out for you let's just Look into the Romantic Oracle, Rom Romance Angels Oracle cards. So Spirit, please, what wants to come out here for group number three? What do we have? We have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. I feel like this is basically both of you. This is what this situation is 
calling you to both of you to just have faith to trust in each other we have reconciliation um and to to trust in this connection i'm getting ahead of myself so reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life so yes this person is thinking of returning to you group number three absolutely lovely healing family issues we have this as well so it's possible some of that heartache here is also healing family issues or feel, healing a certain family situation maybe certain traumas for childhood are coming coming home wow that's a pun spirit oh my gosh it's it's quite uh, you know heavy puns not not that easy the easily digestible one so healing family issues here your love life benefits as you forgive your parents okay so yeah this is just an indication of what is possibly on this person's mind also for some of you it can be a nudge to look at your own family situation and one more card please spirit for group number three the last card for group number three what can we get them any guidance or just what this person is going on going through so we have keep an open mind here your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations also the soulmate journey might differ a little bit from your expectations of it so keep an open mind here group number three just allow this to be as it wants to be allow things to come to you as they want to come to you we have forgiving and learning on the bottom of the deck and i feel like this is again something that goes for both of you so as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments right i feel like this is definitely something that your person is working through with that healing you know with that heartbreak it's definitely something they're trying to work through but it's also something you are called to do here group number three especially if you feel yourself addressed with this card so let's see what's your guidance now my love let us see what's coming out oops what is coming out for you my love so spirit here please for group number three what's their guidance what's the guidance please for group number three here thank you one more Ooh. okay <laughs> Woo, cute skunk spirit know your worth okay powerful what is the first one we have rabbit spirit now is a lucky time okay so lucky time lucky time is now um, trust your good luck trust your intuition um, allow yourself to just be guided with what feels good to you at this time because anything that feels good to you at this time is going to lead you to the road you should walk down with the rabbit spirit now is a lucky time now is a good time to go after what you want or whatever you are called to do whatever your intuition is calling you to do now is a lucky time to go do that um, skunk spirit also know your worth okay group number three know your worth what do you value what do you believe in is your best most authentic self on display in your life right now these are all the things the skunk spirit is basically asking you here um, so skunk spirit also comes at a, as a reminder that you can be proud of who you are and what you have accomplished so know your worth not everyone will agree with you or share your values but you can walk with your head high knowing that when you express your integrity others can feel your authenticity and be inspired by it especially this person if you feel guided to reconnect in a certain way with the lucky time of rabbit spirit um so be who you are and if your reputation precedes you then that's also good you have much to be proud of and skunk spirit wants you to be your best self the true you okay let's see the guidance um with the rabbit spirit so i'm just getting that the easter time might be very very important for you guys 
and for this connection okay so keep um an open mind about that and around that time as always you know follow your best self follow what would someone who loves themselves do follow that love for the self and that's always going to lead you to the right direction right so with that knowledge out of the way with that wisdom imparted on you that is all that i have for you my beautiful darlings thank you so much for sharing your energy with me don't forget to like subscribe comment share with someone else etc and also, if you want to book a personal tarot reading, the information is down below. And if you want to connect to more videos, such as videos on Patreon, where we share additional videos and also 18 plus videos, make sure to check that out. Links are down below. We also have healing on Patreon if any of you are interested in that. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you for sharing your beautiful, beautiful energy. It's been a pleasure and I'll see you all in the next video. Hope you have a beautiful day. Bye.